Hey everybody, Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs here in Fashion Toppings with a fun little project. Can you guess what we're working on today? We're gonna be upcycling some hats. Uh, this is gonna be a two video series. This first video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this fun abstract floral on your hats. You can put these on any type of hats. Uh, you can upcycle hats, used hats, you know, anything that you want. But I'm gonna walk you through step by step. It's a lot of fun. And then I'm gonna have another video up right after this, which is going to be tie-dyeing with your paints. So you can tie-dye your hats. And that'll be a fun one as well. And that's the next video that's coming up. But today, we're working on this. So before we get started, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you're notified each and every time I put up a new video. I do put up a new video every Wednesday. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our abstract floral hat. And I like to buy these egg cartons. You'll see them at the grocery store, but they kind of fold up. So I got my paints in one side. I have the little tray here to put my paint brushes when they're wet. So these things are perfect. So if you go find eggs, I believe it's best land, uh, best something eggs, best something. But it all folds up so that, you know, in between taking a break, you get to cover your paints. So I just grabbed some primary colors out that I kind of want to see for flowers. Got a bunch of craft brushes out. You don't need anything special. And I'm just gonna grab a brush and we're gonna start putting some flowers on. Here we go. This is just a simple little white brim hat and I'm gonna bring the camera down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna use any craft brush. I'm gonna start off with doing it. I'm painting upside down, so I'm just showing you how easy this is. I got my water still close by. I also sprayed some water inside my little tray here. So I have a little, one of these little egg holes for water. I'm gonna dampen my brush because I want my paint wet or my brush wet. And I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna do a big blob pink flower and I have I'm not, no plan. So I'm just going to make a big blob. See, so just a simple little blob. Kind of getting the paint on there. And if your paint is going on a little too thick, then make sure that you add a little bit of water. So I'm just gonna fill in this whole thing, just a little blob, see? Nothing special. Okay, that's gonna be my first flower. And I think I want another pink one up here. Dip in a little bit of water with my brush and some paint. And put a little another pink one, up another pink one right here. Just circles, because we're gonna add in the detail afterwards. So just make a big paint blob. Kids will have fun doing this. Just have them putting blobs on here. We're gonna turn these blobs into flowers. So there's another little blob. See? Little we'll polka dots there. And I'm gonna set that brush brush in my little tray. See, I got a little tray here on the end. I'm gonna put my paintbrush there. And I'm gonna grab a new one. Uh, and I'm gonna add some more colors while this, this is a little wet. So I'm gonna go in with some apricot. You can go any colors you want. And just randomly making some little arches. Little like half C's. Just for some color movement. Just kind of swirling my brush around. See I'm making little swirls. Now, I want a little bit more apricot right there. Just making some colors in there. Get some on the edge here, so I don't have such a strong outline. Okay, on this pink one over here, I think I'm gonna go a little bit different. I think I'm gonna go with orange. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush. So maybe I wanna do some orange with that hot pink. Just making little half C's everywhere. Like I said, I'm painting this upside down because it does not have to be perfect. We will be doing some fun outlining to make it more whimsical looking um, at the end after the paint has dried and I'll show you that. Okay, I'm gonna set that brush to the side. Now, maybe I want a daisy looking one. So I'm gonna grab a different brush. Let me do some, let's do some yellow and then I'll bring in some white. Now I want this daisy to look like it's facing a different direction, okay? So I'm going to make the petals. That definitely needs some water. If your brush does not wanna move, just put some water in it. 
So I'm just making some long petals facing down. Don't have to be perfect, because like I said, these are abstract looking flowers. More yellow. See how I'm making all these petals facing down? Kind of looks like a tooth. Okay, see, something simple like that. And um, I'll need to get some brown for the center. I'll do that next. I'm just getting the outline of all my flowers on here. Now maybe I think I want a blue flower in the middle. So let me go ahead and get another brush. And let's do a blue flower in the middle. And I'll probably be extending some of these, uh, some of these little flowers on top of each other so they look more layered. So some are gonna be in the background, some are gonna be in the front. Just rubbing it into that cotton. Like I said, we're just making color blobs and then we're gonna turn them into flowers. I want this to be a fun little floral hat because I like flowers and I like flowers on my furniture and I like butterflies. So I'm kind of making this hat my personality and I'm not making it for anybody else so I'm not worried, I'm just picking out my own colors my own look. Okay, I'm just getting these blobs on here. We can, any negative space that we have that we want to fill in, we can put leaves. Get that, that flower over that one. Okay, so I got a big little blob. And don't worry, I'm going to put some more flowers on this whole thing. I want to have fun flowers. So now that I got that turquoise on there, I'm going to come in with a lighter color, a color that's a little bit lighter. So I can make my little half circles. Little half circles, just all over it. That color doesn't really show up very well, so I'm just gonna make this random little, this random little circles on there. And right now it's looking a little too uniform. I have these two flowers, or three flowers in a straight line. So I know that I'm gonna wanna have something else coming up out of the top. So let's see, I don't want another blue flower. Let's do purple. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush. And I'm gonna make this little purple. See, I'm making purple dots. And I'll be putting a green stem in. So there we go. See, little purple stem flowers coming in. And I'm gonna make them go over that yellow flower. So you have some in the back and some in the front straight lines back and forth. Look like it's peeking out from underneath that one. Okay, and I think I need another one out the other side. So there we go. See, this is gonna be fun. Okay, and then that one, I'm gonna do a lot of greenery. So I think I wanna do some more of Let's see, some more like sprigs of some sort that are coming in here. And I think maybe I might do a flower that just kind of comes down on the brim here. So let's do, what color have I not used yet? I didn't grab a whole lot of colors, so I think I want to do an orange flower coming out someplace over here. So no planning, just getting these colors on. Okay, is coming along. I'm not really sure. I'm not liking this one, so I'm gonna make this one just a little bit bigger. Okay, so I have the orange. I have a little bit of orange on my brush. That's okay. Okay, just made that orange one just a little bit bigger. I still have to paint the brown around the top. I'm going to do a little bit more blending, so I'm grabbing my original brush. Kids can just jump around from color to color. It's no problem. I'm gonna take a thinner brush, just very thin, and I'm going to grab a little bit of white, and I'm gonna make my little, got a shedding. I'm gonna make my little arches. This little half C's randomly going around this flower. 
See how I did that? See, I just put little random little half circles around here. These are little blob flowers. I actually learned this from Claire, Kara Lockwood. She's a, a canvas artist. Very talented. So I'm looking at how those flowers are coming to life. Adding the white brings in the pretend details that you have with all these colors. Just making half C's around. And I can even blend, come back in with my turquoise if I want to and blend. Okay, see how we're working right now? I can tell I need a little bit more white right there. Okay. Look how quick this is coming along. Very easy. Dip back in my water, grab some more white paint, and get my little blob right here to make it look like a flower. You can do anything you want. It's just adding color and dimension and interest. If everything one solid color, you kind of lose a little bit of the interest. So see the purple with a little bit of white versus just the plain purple. Adding just that little bit of white in there. Very little white. And like I said, I'm doing this upside down. I can't even really see what I'm doing. I'm looking at the camera to see what I'm doing. Just putting a little dab of white on each one of those purple branches just to add some extra dimension to them. Okay, now I'm gonna add some more white to my little yellow flower up here. I'm gonna be outlining these in black, so this is, I mean, this isn't gonna be too, too important. Since they don't have brown, I think I'm gonna do a little purple at the top of this flower and kind of outline the top of my flower just so that I have an idea of where it's gonna be. I'll come back with brown. So it's gonna be like this. Isn't that gonna be cute? I think I need a flower over here and a flower over there just to kind of fill it in. I'm gonna do those real quick doing the same technique, doing a blob, adding a second color on the blob, and then outlining it with a little bit of white, and um, then you'll get to see what it's gonna look like. in here. So I'm going to put, put some leaves. Kind of fill in the space. Okay, you got to make sure you got water on your brush, otherwise that paint is going to look dry. See, I'm putting the little leaves in there, long sprigs of leaves, water, and then I'm using uh, Dixie Belle Evergreen for my leaves. Okay, make it look like they're branching off from each other. Okay. You can do any kind of leaves you want. You can make it up. You don't have to have um, real, like, the correct, <laughs> the correct scientific leaf. Make up your own leaves based on what you think looks good. Okay, just bring, just bring in some, some twigs off of here. 
I'm just filling in the gaps. So I got those little twigs there and I know I need some twigs off the top. So I'm looking at my camera. I need them over here. So I'm gonna have this little branch and I need water. When you, if your paint doesn't wanna go on nice and smooth, then just add a little bit of water and this is not easy to paint upside down. I, want, I don't know if I want to put too much greenery, greenery on there. I think I need one more coming out through here. Okay, there we go. I need to create a, I only, I'm not, I didn't bring out any brown with me, so I am going to just create a brown using purple and green and tap those colors up here so it looks like the center of the flower and all the petals are facing down. Just kind of tapping those colors in. Okay. Okay, that's awfully dark. So I want to add a little bit of yellow. Oh, use too big of a brush. Okay, use too big of a brush, that's okay. Just kind of get rid of some of that yellow. Okay, now switch to a really tiny brush. And Tap a little bit of white on here. Okay, this had us dry. So now I'm going to add just a little bit of detail. I'm using a black. This is a uh, art pen by Zyre. Um, these are just, you can get anyone. You can use these. You can go to your local craft store and just get the regular painters, paint pens. You can do any of those. And I'm just going to randomly outline this flower okay and I get to do this upside down but if I get too close it'll go out of focus so I might just make a line here the squiggly lines around it just squiggly lines anywhere I just gotta re dab my pen okay and we don't have to be in the lines. It's hard to do this upside down. And we're just outlining. No rhyme or reason, there's a center. Just making little squigglies. This just kind of makes them stand out just a little bit more. I'm gonna do this with white too. And get the other flower over here. You, I could, could have stopped the way I was before, but I wanted to do this little outline. See if I like it. Just little squigglies. At that center, see? Just bringing it out just a little bit more. I'm going outside the lines in some areas because I want it to look like graffiti flowers. Like I said, I learned this from Kara Lockwood. She's a canvas artist and she does a lot of stuff that are just squiggly lines, no rhyme or reason. And she comes back in and she puts the white around it, which I'll do the white. I don't want to be like completely close to my flower. Just squiggly little lines. And I have a center there. Okay. See how it's kind of bringing them out to life a little bit. 
and maybe I'll just outline this daisy or sunflower, whatever you want to call it. And maybe the leaves. This little squiggly lines around certain items. Not wanting to be perfect. You don't want you don't want to be tracing exact. See, I'm not even getting close to being exact. Okay, let me get this one leaf over here. So brought a little bit to life there with the black. Just getting squiggly lines all over there. Now I'm gonna do the same with white. And I'm just gonna in random areas, do some of the white lines kind of near where I did the black. Right in the middle there. Just kind of figuring out where it needs a little bit of white. Remember, these are abstract flowers. Messy is the key with this. That's what makes it look abstract. Okay. So see, just doing that little bit of outlining kind of gave it a fun, kind of whimsical type look. There we go. Okay, well there you have it. Beautiful abstract floral hats. Now this one I'm gonna be very proud to wear. I got so many colors in it. In it. It's gonna match so much of my stuff. You're gonna see me wearing it a lot. This is gonna be my new favorite hat. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to watch for the next part of the series, that tie-dye and watercolor look. That's coming up next. But don't forget to click on subscribe and click on that little bell so you're notified each and every time I put up a video. Okay, well I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.